TypeScript also has an enum type, which is not present in JavaScript. Enum is basically a collection of named values. So in this lecture, we are going to learn about enum type in TypeScript and how it gets compiled to JavaScript. Let's go to VS Code. And let's try to understand enum type with a real world example. So let's say I have an object called user. And this user has a name property. Let's say name of the user is John. Then this user also have an age property and let's say age is 30. This user has a gender property. Let's say the gender of the user is male. And then we also want to have a role property here. And here to this role, we want to assign, let's say, admin. So let's say this user is admin. Okay. Now what I want is here, I want to check if user dot role and if it is equal to something okay now since we are assigning a string value here to this role we can check if it is admin so this is also fine and in that case what i want is i want to log a message in the console saying that this user is an admin so here we are basically checking what is the role of the user and based on that we are logging a message now instead of doing it like this one way to do it is we can create a const for example let's say i'm creating a variable called admin and its value is admin so this is one way or we can also specify an integer value here for example for the admin the value should be zero then we also have another type let's say read only for this the value is going to be one then we are going to create another constant let's say write only for this the value is going to be two and let's also create another constant and let's call it read write so these are the four roles which a user can have so one of these roles will be assigned to the user and now what we can do is here to this role we can assign one of these roles so for example we want this user to be admin so i'm going to assign admin to this okay now what will be the value of the role here it will be zero because inside this admin variable we are assigning zero so the role value will be zero so here we can check if user dot role if it is equal to the value stored in this admin constant in that case we want to log this message in the console so this is another way we can create constant for each type of role and then we can assign it to the user role or another way would be to create an enum now how do we create an enum in order to create an enum we use enum keyword we specify a name for the enum here i'm going to call this enum as roles then we use a set of curly braces like this now this is not an object keep this point in mind here we are creating an enum which we are calling as roles and in here we can specify some values so for example admin okay now remember that i am not putting it inside quotes so this will be a named value then i can also have read only i can have write only and i can also have read write okay so these are the four values for this roles enum admin read only write only and read write and now we can assign one of the value from this roles enum to this roles property and keep in mind that here by default the value of each of these named values will start from zero so the value of this admin will be zero as you can see value of read only will be one value of write only will be two and read write will be three okay so by default the value of each of these named values will be an integer value and it will start from zero but we can also change it and i will show you that later now here to this role we can assign one of these roles from this role enum for that we can simply say roles dot and here you can see we can access any of these four values so here we want to set this user as admin 
so we will assign admin to it and again this admin it is storing a value zero so that zero will be assigned to this role property and here we don't have any constant called admin now so again here we are going to check the user role with this role cnum and in there we will check it with admin so if the role is roles dot admin we want to log this message so here we have created a simple enum for the permission types for the role and now we can use this enum for assigning a role like we are doing here or for comparing the role like we are doing here all right now as i mentioned by default the value of this enum will start from zero so the first value will have this value zero the second one will have the value one third one will have the value two and so on but if we want we can also set its value explicitly so for example if i say admin equals one in that case the value of admin will be one and the other values will have a value one greater than the previous one so for example this read only will have the value two write only will have the value three read write will have the value four and if we want we can also specify different values for different roles here something like this so this is also possible okay so now in this case the value of admin is 100 value of read only is 200 and write only is 300 but for this read write we have not assigned any value so it will be 301 so the previous value plus one and we are not only limited to numbers we can also assign string values so for example if you want this admin you can also assign a string value like this same thing you can do for other values and you can also have a mix of string and number so that is also possible but here i'm going to keep the default values i'm not going to assign any value explicitly to these enums so i want to use the default values which starts from zero like this now what we can do is we can move it to separate lines to make it more readable all right so this is what an enum is an enum is basically a named value here you can see we are providing some name for the values and what are the values the values are 0 1 2 and 3 now the next question is in javascript we don't have enum then how this code will be compiled to javascript let's actually see that let's save the changes in this file and let's compile this app.ts file so the file has been compiled if i refresh the page you should see this message logged this user is an admin because here for this user we have set the role as admin and if i open javascript file here you see that enum has been compiled to this javascript code so basically here we are using an ify and immediately invoked function expression to convert that enum to a javascript code and you can see how complex it is to write the same code in javascript here we have simply created an enum but if we need to write the same thing in javascript this is how it would be written okay now we will see how we can use an enum in a real world project in the future lecture of this course this is all from this lecture if you have any questions related to enum then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day